bring us back on nearly 50 years of precedent, allowing Texas's six-week abortion ban to take effect and rendering Roe versus Wade effectively meaningless for many Texans. Since then, politicians in other states, including Wisconsin, are signaling that they will push for similar bans. Boo, indeed. <laughs> so, our Supreme Court reconvenes on Monday, and on December 1st, we'll begin hearing a case out of Mississippi on a 15-week abortion ban that poses a direct threat to Roe versus Wade. Wisconsin, and I need everybody to pay attention here, Wisconsin is one of nine states that has a criminal abortion ban on our state laws that could immediately go into effect if Roe versus Wade is overturned. So again, this is, it's a very serious moment for those of us who care about this issue. Um, this criminal abortion law that we have on the books is 172 years old, and it does not have any exceptions for rape, incest, or health of the pregnant person. It does not allow for abortion at any stage of pregnancy. What we're witnessing is the greatest threat to abortion access in nearly 50 years. And as we know, abortion is a deeply personal, private health care decision that each person must be empowered to make for themselves. Unless we act now to repeal Wisconsin's 172-year-old criminal abortion ban, people could lose the ability to access essential health care. All right, so we all understand why we're here today, yeah? Yeah! Okay, so before we get started, um, just a few housekeeping items. We have volunteers here.